Pavel Sheremet had survived imprisonment, uh, having his credentials taken away, have been stripped of his Belarusian citizenship. So he'd been through plenty. Uh, he knew what the risks were and he just went out there every day and did his job uh, because he believed in it and he believed very strongly in press freedom. I met him in December 1998. He was one of CPJ's International Press Freedom Awardees that year and he should have come to New York in November to receive his award at the Waldorf Astoria. You know, hundreds of people all dressed up in black tie, but Belarus officials would not give him an exit visa. But instead, Kristina Lapachuk, who was then the Europe Program Coordinator, um, worked on the idea of, let's go to Belarus and present the award to Pavel there. And you know, a few weeks after the awards, the you know the big awards ceremony in New York, we were in Minsk giving Pavel his award in front of all of his colleagues in Belarus. It was really quite wonderful. Pavel Shermet worked in three former Soviet republics, Belarus, Russia, and Ukraine. There was such great hope and optimism after the Soviet Union collapsed and suddenly you had 15 independent countries a lot of hope, a lot of belief that things were going to be very, very different. Well, they are different, but not necessarily in terms of press freedom. Belarus has you know, really one of the worst press freedom records in the region. It did at the time uh, that Pavel Charmet was honored by CPJ, still does. Pavel left there, he eventually was stripped of his citizenship by his homeland. He worked in Russia for some years, uh, but under Vladimir Putin, broadcasting really came increasingly under Kremlin control or heavy Kremlin influence to the point where Pavel a few years ago said, I'm out of here, basically. So he went to Ukraine, but as CPJ has documented, Ukraine has press freedom issues as well. Um, and now we've seen this horrific targeted killing, apparently, of Pavel Sheremet. Um, and, you know, if the Ukrainian government wants to show that it truly is committed to having a free press, to that free press having an important role in society, it needs to solve this murder. Uh, there's got to be a good, really good, independent investigation of this. You know, who's behind it? Was Pavel the target? Uh, was it someone else from Ukraine, Skapravda, which had long been a thorn in the side of authorities. Uh, at CPJ, you defend all kinds of journalists um, uh, for doing their work, you know, uh, taking risks, uh, being repressed, uh, being attacked. Um, and with somebody like Pavel Sheremet, you just thought, this is the greatest guy, you know. He needs our help. and. There was just a little something extra to it because he was, he was so wonderful and so committed. I think he had that kind of personality, just a real passion for his work, a real belief that, you know, I'm doing something that's important to the world or at least to, you know, the people who are reading or watching my work. And I think that was probably always something that was helping him, you know, get through the hard times.